Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show 5 ways to bypass Windows 11 requirements and install it on unsupported hardware. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, let's begin. Here I have opened PC Health Check app, and now I'll just click on Check Now, and here, you can see it says, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, so basically this PC isn't supported, due to incompatible processor and degraded TPM module. And now, just extract the downloaded file, you'll find the download link under video description, open the folder, and then force open Windows 11 upgrade application. And here, if you have Windows 11 ISO file, choose first option, and then select the ISO file, however I recommend downloading Windows 11 from here. Now select your current system language, after selecting the language, click on download, and wait for Windows 11 ISO to get downloaded. Now, just check clean install option, and then click on install system. And as you can see, the process has been started. You might think how this can be a clean install guide. If you do think, wait for a while, sit back, and you'll have the result Now, set up your Windows 11. And, you're finally on Windows 11. For creating the USB, You'll need Windows 11 ISO, if you want to download the ISO, follow the guide from my button, and secondly, you'll also need Rufus, version 3.16. Link for both file is under video description, and you'll also need any USB with minimum 8 GB capacity. And now, plug the USB, and open Rufus, after Rufus is executed, drag Windows 11 ISO to Rufus window, and then click on image option, and select, extended Windows 11 installation, from drop down list, change the volume label if you want, and then click on start. In some time your USB will be ready, depending on your USB speed. The USB is ready, click on close, eject the USB, and plug to target computer. Now, power on your PC, and go to your boot menu, and select your USB drive, with the FE prefix, and press enter to boot. And here, proceed with setup. Currently my drive is unallocated, delete all partitions, if you want to clean install, 
or proceed accordingly, and then click on next. And as you can see, Windows 11 is being installed. Your PC will restart several times, so don't worry about that. Now, set up your Windows 11. So finally, Windows 11 is here, and here, you can see, the specification of unsupported hardware, on which I'm currently running Windows 11. For this method, you require Microsoft Media Creation Tool, an USB with a minimum of 8 GB and a working internet connection. Now, plug the USB, open the Media Creation Tool and create Windows 11 bootable USB. The SP has been created successfully, plug to the target hardware, and boot to the installer. And here, proceed with setup. After getting the screen, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open command prompt. In command prompt window, type reg edit, and press enter key, and now navigate to following. And here create a new key, and name it lab config, and after that, create dword 32 bit value, and name it following, and change the value data from 0 to 1. After creating all the values, close all and click on the back button and now you can proceed with the installer. And finally, you're on Windows 11. For this method, you require Microsoft Media Creation Tool, Bypass Registry, and any SB with a minimum of 8 GB and a working internet connection. Now, plug the USB, open the Media Creation Tool and create Windows 11 bootable USB. The SP has been created successfully. Now copy the bypass registry and paste it to Windows 11 bootable USB. And now, plug it to target hardware and boot to the installer. And here, proceed with setup.
After getting this screen, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open Command Prompt. In Command Prompt Windows, type Notepad. After Notepad is opened, click on File, and then click on Open. Here, click on this PC, and then browse to USB. Select all files, from File Types drop-down list. Now right-click on Bypass Registry, and click on Merge, and accept all the prompts. And now, close all, click on the back button. And you can proceed with installing Windows 11. And finally, you're on Windows 11. For this method, you require Microsoft Media Creation Tool, Bypass Batch, and an USB with a minimum of 8 GB, and a working internet connection. Now, plug the USB, open the Media Creation Tool, and create Windows 11 bootable USB. The SB has been created successfully. Now copy bypass batch and paste it to Windows 11 bootable USB. And now, plug it to target hardware and boot to the installer. And here, proceed with setup. After getting this screen, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open Command Prompt. In Command Prompt Windows, type Notepad. After Notepad is opened, click on File, and then click on Open. Here, click on this PC, and then browse to USB. Select all files, from File Types drop-down list. Now right-click on Bypass Batch and click on Run as Administrator and, after the new prompt window opens, press 1 and press Enter key. After the operation is completed, press any key and, then close all. Click on the back button, and you can proceed with installing Windows 11. And finally, you're on Windows 11. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.